So first of all, it's extremely important that you identify the purpose of wanting to get healthy. What does help look like to you? And that way you can start to set steps to be able to accomplish it. When you set those steps to be able to accomplish it and it comes time to make that decision, it's important to actually make decisions and avoid allowing yourself to fall into that analysis paralysis. What caused this episode? You may be saying, Amber, you've never really talked about health like this before. I was having a conversation with somebody and it's not the first time that I've heard this. It's not the first time that this topic has been brought up. The question of can somebody who is unable to achieve success in their health achieve success in their life and business? In extremely blatant terms, is fat successful? Please know when I say that, I'm saying it with all the love, right? Is fat successful? I used to get really triggered by this. And I think the reason was because I didn't want to face the reality that the answer is no. I didn't want to face the reality that my avoidance of my health journey was indicative of the way I ran my business as well. Here is my answer to that question. Physical appearance has nothing to do with success. Actions have everything to do with success. If the reason, and listen, I'm sitting here having this conversation as somebody who has 100 pounds to lose, so I get it. The reality is that how we do one thing is how we do everything. So if we find that we're avoiding things in our health journey, that we are avoiding the difficult decisions, that we're getting caught up with analysis paralysis, that we are, that we are making uncomfortable choices that don't necessarily serve us in our health journey, it's really important that we step back and ask ourselves where else that's showing up in our life. 